maybe they're saying, hey, we did what we needed to do, kept this a one-score game. Yeah, without a doubt, because they were able to bleed some time off the clock, right? Put themselves in a good position, but it's not out of reach yet, okay? Being able to hold them to a field goal means that they do have a chance to come back and win this game. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. And when you're facing a deficit on the scoreboard, you're just looking for something to get you right back into the game, and that's the spark that they were looking for. They got it with that big return. Down. He's got 60 or. On first down, Dickerson. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. It's a gain of 12, and the Cowboys pick up the first. Right back to him on first down. And he's brought down. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. ready. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and push it in with Gurley. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Todd Gurley in the final minute as they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. now at 10 apiece as the kicks away. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They've got work to do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel comfortable with that, but they have all their play sequences called. If they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play, but if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Second and two, and that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Looking to throw, Stewart. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off at the 35. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. I get and appreciate that they wanted to go for the win, not play for overtime, but that's the cost right there. Not so sure their fans feel the same way as you when they just watch that ball get picked and taken the other way, and now they're down six. Looks like it's going to be a loss for them, an absolute catastrophe when they tried to be aggressive. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This will be taken very short. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. One possession game, time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? 
Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. He violated a big time no-no in throwing that pick. Rolling right, throwing across his body. And you know that your dad taught you that in the backyard when you were a tyke. Yep. Don't do it. The problem, every now and then you get away with it. This time, not the case. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Kill, kill, kill. On third down, they'll run it with Gurley. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. They have time here, partner, for just one final heave. And I have to look at it from the defense's perspective here. We know what they're going to do on offense. The Hail Mary, try and get got. And, oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off inside the 10. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. 